That ain't happening. You ain't getting in my boat. Leave me alone. He's going around the point. There he is. Expose who? No way. Expose what? That's the one we were looking for. Uh, that truck just like that. MJ, I don't think this is what they meant when you said expose. Expose, 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 expose. Get the boat, man, it's time to go. Grab your baits and fishing poles. Fill the tank and then hit the road. Till you're in that fishing hole. Made up my mind, I'm no weekend warrior. I'm a pro. Fishing, fishing, no. And when I'm fishing, man, my goal is to win. I won't stop until I'm in that circle with lead. Kevin Van Dam, I got the ski grease, I got that carrot stick, man. If y'all see me on the lake, better make way and pray my motor quits, cause I won't know yeah, I'm a bass, 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 bass. I really believe that watching this Pro Fighters Exposed video is going to help you increase your fishing catch ratio tremendously. Not just peat ponds, but you've got Ott Defoe, you've got some of the best names in the business on Pro Fighters Exposed, you've got Timmy Horton, you've got, I mean, I couldn't name you all the guys. And if you'll watch these videos, I promise you it'll make you a better fisherman. Good morning, Matt Reed here. Getting ready for that Bassmaster Elite Series event on Lake Falcon. We're going to get out here today and try to evaluate what's going on, figure out the type of cover they're using, what pattern I'm going to be trying to put together for this event. Uh, man, this lake's a lake I spend a lot of time on, so you know, beware when you got that condition to not to listen to the fish, not try to make them do what you want them to do, do what they're doing. So uh, I'm going to get out there, try to put a pattern together, and go with it while we film this pro patterns exposed. You know, one thing that's always a big challenge on a lake, it's, you know, a pretty big reservoir, is, is usually there's a section of it that's that's key to what's going on, and and man, you got to figure that out because if you if you're on the wrong end of the lake, it can be going on big time in the middle or on the upper end. If you're on the lower, so you, you really can't just predetermine what you're going to do. You got to get out there and cover this thing from one end to the other. Uh, a lot of times there'll be a bunch of small fish biting in one section of the lake, but the bigger ones are active in, a, in another. So, and you got to put yourself in the right area so you can do well. That is the perfect tree. Oh, and he missed it. Golly, there he is. It's a big one too. Pretty good at looking here. Huh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This is kind of the kind we need. Okay, come here. Uh, that'll work. Not a monster, but a good one. Wow, I kind of like that. That wasn't my fourth or fifth tree I pitched into. Maybe we kind of got something going. Let's see what happens. Alright, go home, baby. Huh, intriguing. Told you that was a good tree. That's what a tree's supposed to look like. Let's see if he has a, a brother. One thing's for sure, I don't have this flipping pattern dialed in just right yet, but uh, I do know that I can catch a limit doing this. Um, and I've seen a couple of good fish, so. I'm going to keep working on it for a long time. I mean, you know, we hadn't caught one fish out on the, the offshore structure that I would really prefer to fish. Uh, again, that's one of those situations where you can't let yourself get caught up in doing what you want to do. You need to do what the fish are telling you. So, uh, I'm at least catching some fish doing this, flipping the jig, so I need to keep working on it. Trying to get it fine tuned, find me some areas where there's some really big ones. Well, coming to the end of my practice day, uh, trying to get those patterns out there and expose them to everybody. It uh, was kind of a tough day for me. Uh, this morning, real early, I, I caught a big one on a, on a spinner bait, big spinner bait suspended in the in the trees, and uh, and it really just didn't didn't register to me enough. Then I ended up. 
fishing a whole lot during the day and fished some rock structure and that type of stuff, didn't get bit. Um, and I actually had a little tip from one of my buddies about, about the flipping a jig in the trees or swimming a jig in the trees. That part of the puzzle I didn't figure out until late in the day, but uh, all in all, from you know this afternoon for two or three hours, I feel like I kind of put something together. You know, we had two or three five pound class fish. I was swimming that jig through the trees and probably had eight bites in the last hour, hour and a half. So, really feel good about it. Got something to work with. Got two more days to put it together. So, I'll work with this a whole lot more for the next two days. I'll also probably fish some deep structure and try to find something else to go. I can do this if the wind blows. Uh, I'll probably look for some stuff out deep if it stays calm, something to work with there. But this is always something you can do. Whatever the wind does, you, you, you can manage it, not out in the open water. So, uh, you always have to prepare for the conditions, whatever you might run into. So, you know, today was really a uh, so-so day as far as I'm concerned, but I really think I could catch a pretty good sack. Uh, you know, this is just, just how we do it. And, uh, I, you know, I want to just show you on these pro patterns exposed, this is what us as pros do trying to figure out how to get it done in our tournaments. Make a cast. Thank you for watching Exposed. Join us again next week on ProPatterns.com as more of the world's top professional anglers share their tournament strategies with you. This is Sandra Rankin, and we'll see you then. Get the boat, man, it's time to go. Grab your baits and fishing poles. Fill the tank and then hit the road. Till you're in that fishing hole. Made up my mind, I'm no weekend warrior. I'm a pro. Fishing, fishing, no. When I'm fishing, man, my goal is to win I won't stop until I'm in That circle with legends like Rick Clunner, Kevin Van Dam. I got that ski grease I got that carrot stick, man If y'all see me on the lake, better make way and pray my motor quits Cause I won't lose